Hi, Chad here from Purple Collar Life, and in today's video, we've got the Ford Super Duty Godzilla 7.3, and we're going to finally do that test to find out how much of a difference the eco mode makes when driving. So I'm going to drive to work today, and I'm going to use eco mode for the 80 miles on the way to work, and then normal mode for the 80 miles on the way home, and we'll see what that difference in miles per gallon is for our fuel economy between the two modes. If it's your first time joining us, thank you so much for joining us. And if you've been following us along all along, thanks for coming back. In case you weren't exactly sure how to do this, right here on the end of the gear selector is a drive mode button. And you'll see that when I push that, it gives me my available drive modes. And right here is eco mode. So on the way to work, we're using eco mode. And then on the way home, we'll use normal mode and see what the difference is. So you can see right now, we're a little ways into our trip. We've made it to the interstate. Um, I have the cruise set at 69 miles an hour. And our average fuel economy so far, according to the computer, is 16.5. We'll be using the computer system for this video. I've found through hand calculating a couple times that the computer system is actually really close within two uh, tenths of a mile per gallon from what I calculate over long drives. So we're going to go ahead and trust the computer system on this video. So we are just about halfway to work. We've put 40 miles on of the 80 mile drive to work. And you can see our current average miles per gallon fuel economy is 16.8. Again, cruise is still set at 69, traveling on the interstate here. We're in Northwest Pennsylvania, so the interstate is just about the most flat section of road, but there are still inclines and declines on the interstate. And then to get to the interstate, and then once I'm off the interstate going to and from work, there will be some hills that I'll be climbing so that will affect the gas mileage also. Another quick update here, it's getting to be more daylight. I leave pretty early in the morning between 6 and 6.30 is when I start driving on my way to work. You can see it's starting to light up outside now. But a little update here on the trip, we are now averaging 17 miles per gallon. The longer we're on the interstate, the better our gas mileage will get. And again, updates on this truck. This is the F-350 with the Godzilla 7.3. Has 3.73 gear ratio, so the 373s. And it seems to do great on highway travel. Do have blind spot monitoring, and you can see that light on the mirror there as someone passes us. So we'll keep traveling here. Oh, there we inched up another one. 17.1 is our average now. So we'll keep you updated. We still have about 10 miles to go on our trip. You can see our current average is 17.3. Again, on eco mode in the 7.3 Godzilla. The other thing you'll notice is that 213 miles till empty number. I think when we first started driving today, that was 170 something, maybe 172. I'll put the screenshot of it in here. But because we're increasing our average fuel economy, the truck is recalculating how much, how many miles we can get on the remaining fuel in the tank. Got a red light up ahead here, so I'll give you a little update. We are almost to work, about three more miles to go on these and town streets to get to work. And we are at 17.2 average miles per gallon on our trip. You can see our miles to empty is up to 215. Again, this is about an 80 mile one way trip. Okay, we've started the route home. We still have 77 miles to go. A lot of sit still traffic here, big intersections. So we're kind of decreasing our miles per gallon here. We're down to 16.7. You can see that my drive mode is on normal right now. 
Okay, we are finally back on the interstate, just like I did on the drive to work. On this drive home, I've got the cruise set at 69 miles an hour. Now, unfortunately, we spent about 10 minutes or so just sitting in stop and go traffic before we got to the interstate. I'm sure that's hurting us a little bit. You'll see we are currently at 15.8. Now that will work its way up during the drive because we've got our best gas mileage on the interstate when we're traveling at a steady speed. So you can see the up and down here, even though we're on the interstate, there are these hillsides that we're going over in Northwest Pennsylvania. And you can see the effect that has on the mileage. If you look at that little last 30 minute chart, you'll see that depending on during that time, if we're traveling uphill, like we are right now, that next line will be a little bit lower because we're not doing quite as good on the uphill as we do on the downhill and flat. If you were on a flat desert lands with the cruise control set, I would imagine those bars would all be fairly equal. And some people might ask, why am I traveling at 69 miles an hour when the speed limit is 70 miles an hour? I found that the time difference is negligible. Sometimes none, depending on how much you're stuck in traffic, and sometimes just a couple minutes, maybe five minutes slower by going a little bit slower, but the significance is in the fuel savings. If I were traveling at 70, 71, 72, 75 miles an hour, my fuel mileage is significantly less than going 67 to 69 miles an hour. So I just keep that cruise set at 69 until someone pulls in front of me and I have to tap the brakes a little bit. But most of the time, that's why I'm running at 69. You can see here, we're almost down to 40 miles to our destination, which means we are just about halfway home. And our current fuel economy is 15.9. So you can see we are inching up there so we are just pulling into the driveway here. It's a little bit after six o'clock, so we spent about an hour and 25 minutes driving. And you can see we ended up in normal mode at 16.4 miles per gallon for the drive home. So what did we learn on that little test? Well, we got home at 16.4 miles per gallon after driving in normal mode. We got to work at 17.2 miles per gallon driving in eco mode. So is there a difference? Yes. And probably, you know, those are 80 mile stretches of drive. Probably if you were doing a longer drive, several hundred miles or several thousand miles, you would see those differences even more significantly. Now, as far as the drive goes, I didn't notice much difference. You notice a big difference when you go from normal mode to tow haul mode. Everything kind of ramps up. The engine's a little bit louder. The shift points are quite a bit higher. You can hear that exhaust quite a bit better. Now between normal and eco modes, I didn't notice that much difference. I would say it waits a little bit longer to shift. It keeps those RPMs lower in the level when it can. So if you start climbing a hill, it's not gonna shift down to a lower gear right away. It tries to let you keep that lower RPM as long as it can, and then it makes the shift. So I did notice that. There's maybe a little bit of hesitation on the gas when you're in eco mode. So if you stomp the gas, it kind of delays a little bit before it accelerates you forward at a pretty good rate. In normal mode, that's pretty instantaneous response, gas pedal moving forward. So those might be some of the ways. Obviously, I'm not sure what all the computer does between eco mode and normal mode. I was just anxious to see on this drive, was there a difference? And there was. One quick note, while we're right here beside the fuel fill for that 48 gallon gas tank, I am running this truck on unleaded 88. What does that mean? Well, we'll do a video all about it in the future, but if you follow us on Instagram, Purple Collar Life, you'll see that I usually get gas out of sheets where unleaded 88 is available. Savings is about 50 cents a gallon. I wanted to come to the back of the truck to show you we're not towing anything, there's nothing in the bed. That fuel mileage is just me and the cab. So that's what I'm seeing pretty regularly is in that 16 to 17 and a half miles per gallon range on my drives to work. Again, this is the 7.3 liter Godzilla gas engine in our Ford F350 long bed crew cab, 373 gears. A lot of people ask those questions. That's our configuration. If you haven't already done so, this would be a great time to click that thumbs up button. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. More than 95% of the people that watch our videos regularly are not subscribed. We'd like to see that number decrease 
and our subscriber base increase. Thank you in advance for helping us out. Hopefully this video was informative and entertaining. We look forward to seeing you again the next time.